What is going on, folks? This is Astro here, and we are back with another Airmex Strike cast. And uh, this time, it is a ranks 1v1 on the map Salt uh, between our red player on the left side, Apple738, and his opponent will be Mechmind. Thought it said Mega Mind for a second, but it will be Mechmind in the Black Ops Saucer. Now, I, I know I've been missing for a little bit. I'm sorry I haven't been consistent on the uploads. Uh, one, no one sent me replays, so it's your fault if you're watching for not sending me replays. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, I've just been a little bit busy with life recently. And uh, I started school again for the new semester, so I've been kind of busy, yeah. So I haven't had as much time to play and upload recently, but I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, I did cast the Smurf Incognito 1v1 tourney, well, at least part of it. Uh, last Saturday, if you watched that, that was great. Fun games. It'll, all the games are uploaded on Frisky Cow's channel, I believe. He will be releasing them slowly every day. So if you're missed out on the tournament and you want to catch some great games, uh, go check that out. And yeah, so back to this game. Uh, Apple. Everyone knows who Apple is. Uh, Mechmind is a kind of new face. I have no clue who Mechmind is. Uh, I assume he's probably either a Smurf or he's a. Uh, 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 Xbox or a console player uh, and he just started getting back into Air Max Strike instead. I did play him once actually uh, today earlier before I started casting this uh, and I did end up winning so that kind of gives you an idea of where his skill rating is relative to mine but I only played one game so I don't know maybe he's like god tier and I just got lucky <laughs> but yeah so Mechman and Apple I don't know how this will play out uh, this replay was sent in by a Wolf Cub, so you can thank Wolf Cub for that sending in that replay. And he told me that the ending was absolutely crazy, or this game was crazy. So I'm excited to see what it is. And I'm a little bit confused as to what Apple is doing with just these two ratchets here. I think he was trying to get the salvage off on the neutrals that he killed over here. But Mechmind just focus firing him down and trying to constantly abduct. So Apple's kind of weary. Neither player's gone for mid yet. We're two minutes into this game and not no one has even tried for mid. And Mechmind actually looks like he's going for the neutrals on the bridge right now. Two minutes have passed. There is a lockbox out on the field. Let's see who will get it. Looks like Apple is going to be the one to scoop that up. 6,000 credits in the bank for Apple. And yeah, neither player making any moves, really. And one Gemini and a Ratchet being brought over here to try and kill these neutrals. But this Gemini and this Ratchet super low on health. Apple needs to be careful. Might lose some units over here. Actually, this Gemini over here might get finished off by the T99 itself. And Apple's low on health. And Apple's actually going to get taken down. And this is looking really rough because Megamind can easily snipe all of these super low health units. Probably, yep, one Flacker kill, two Gemini kills, and a Ratchet kill. So that's a lot. That's probably like, what, like 16k worth of units that Apple just lost from that one death. So rough, 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 rough. You don't want to be dying in 1v1. Dying in 1v1 is awful. It's awful. It's the worst thing you can do in a 1v1 game. So don't die. Don't die in your 1v1s. But yeah, Apple also continuing to push towards mid. A little bit ahead of Megamind. Or Megamind. I keep calling it Megamind. Mechmind. Mechmind. A little bit ahead of Mechmind. Uh, since he did start a little bit earlier, but Mechmind getting back into it. They're basically even right now. Apple landing, trying to do some harass. There are a few flackers here to chase him away. No AA for Apple, because the one flacker he brought over did get sniped by Mechmind. But Mechmind also with no healing units. Oh no, one Ratchet on blind. So one Ratchet doing some healing. And Apple actually dropping some sergeants. Did manage to land and kill that one Gemini over there by using that blade. So, doing a good job there. The sergeants? Something I've seen uh, a lot of players use actually now. I think sergeants uh, something that people are starting to see is a pretty good infantry choice. They do a lot of damage. They have a lot of HP. They're kind of hard to kill, uh, so they're good like substitute to like runners or sams or something if you want to try and take them. Apple really low on health. Might get finished off here. Actually, one butcher getting a shot in, but Apple's just gonna looks like he's just gonna jump up over <laughs> to <laughs> to his outpost. But uh, in the meantime, Mechmind did manage to actually abduct one or two Gemini. It looks like a one or two Gemini. And these butchers actually that he dropped are actually gonna get killed. So Oh he abducted he abducted the butchers as well. Wow that's crazy. And Mechmind looks like he's just gonna take mid for free. Cause Apple lost a lot of units over here for basically nothing. And uh yeah upkeep is looking really really rough in favor of Apple 11 upkeep to 31. So Apple not looking so hot. He did manage to pick up that box so 6,000 more credits for Apple. But Megamind has, Megamind, Mechmind, Mechmind has control of mid. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call him Megamind, who knows. I don't know why, it's just like implanted in my head that his name is Mechmind. But Apple with the heavy mind, so Mechmind needs to be careful about pushing out from here. Unless he scouts these heavy minds, that could be really devastating. 
some light defenses over here. Need the player really trying to kill all the units at mid. It looks like Mech Mine trying to abduct that Longhorn. Not quite getting it done because there is a T99 here and a Seeker here. A lot of anti-air potential. Mech Mine trying to abduct. Looks like he will scoop up one Ratchet. Actually, Apple scooped up the Ratchet. And it is a green Ratchet now, <laughs> which is a little bit funny. It's a little bit of a glitch. But uh, pro tip, if you pick up a unit that just got abducted, <coughs> You can actually still sell that unit, so you can recycle the unit over your outpost if you still have it in your cargo and get all the credits back for it. So you don't actually have to just lose everything there. <laughs> Mechmind trying to abduct this uh, this Longhorn, not quite getting it done. And oh, Apple, you're doing a good job of staying here, focus firing him so he can't quite get the regen. And he's choosing to push out, but there's heavy mines here. He hasn't scouted the heavy mines. This is this is going to go really, really rough for, for uh, Mechmind if he's not careful. Yeah, he definitely hasn't got it. He's going to see one heavy mine. No, the heavy mine didn't actually go off because the ratchet started uh, started uh, disarming the mine before before the tanks actually got to it. And it looks like Mech Mine actually going to pull or set these units on follow. So they're not going to quite run into the, the heavy mines until most of the defending units are killed. There's one heavy mine going off there. That was a really devastating. That's going to pretty much end the push. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get away with it now. But Mech Mine doing some abduct over here. And it looks like he actually will neutralize this outpost all the infantry getting killed by apple with his stasis and his blade guardians but yeah pretty much all the green units dead over here but most of the defenses that apple had also dead and dropping a few units over here to potentially cap this outpost so apple needs to bring over some defenses over here as well but mech mine just abducting 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 away saucer abduct is so 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 strong he even has his uh, ultimate creep ability online do into blink a little bit interesting you usually see people put one into blink and then more into more into abduct and more into the creep ability. Death rate, really good ability, but it's kind of underrated, at least compared to other saucer abilities in that other saucer's other abilities are just so, so good. And Apple might get the new shots over here, and Mechmind actually uh, just abducting the butchers that Apple dropped, so not doing too great. Did manage to get the new shots, but I don't think that was a worthwhile trade for Apple. <coughs> and Apple with some more sergeants. And I'm a little bit curious as to where things are going to go from now. It looks like just a classic salt stalemate. The sergeants did manage to walk in before the creeps for Mechmine, but Mechmine will end up capturing mid back again. Upkeep is still 19 to 22, so pretty much even out now, actually, if you think about it. But again, most of Apple's upkeep is in like random infantry and heavy mines and stuff. So definitely Mechmine, definitely with a little bit more presence on the field. And Apple going to cloak all the way to Mechmine's... Uh, close outpost and gonna try and attempt this cheese right here not gonna go well didn't even manage to get any infantry down actually only a few infantry but there was just some socketed creeps so they just kind of walked in and apples apples thinking right now he's thinking he's like what can i do what can i do what am i gonna do right he has these heavy mines out so mech mine can't really push uh and mech mine is pretty much abducting everything in the middle as well so uh he has this additional lane open to him and there's no heavy mines down in the middle lane at least yet and apple gonna scoop up probably yeah it looks like the fourth box in a row for apple that he's gonna scoop up mech mine trying to shoot him out of the air but not quite getting it done but as long as it persists mech mine will have more upkeep more credits to work with he's also abducting so he's getting a lot of free units and apple all he can do is just keep landing and stasising and trying to snipe what he can until he builds up uh, an army or a sizable defense. He has some busters in queue. I don't know what those are going to do for him. But yeah, four heavy mines down here. So Mech Mine really can't push unless he has like a roller or some zippers or some some tangos or something to like clear out the heavy mines. And I'm ducking another T99 for free. He's basically gotten all of the neutrals over here. <laughs> I'm going to try and abduct the Gaddy right now. Apple, let's see if he's going to try and shoot him down. Nope, will not do it in time. Free Gaddy for Mech Mine. And Gaddy's, Gaddy's are pretty useful, so not gonna lie. So it's a pretty good. Oops, I don't know where I clicked on the random mini map, but pretty good pick up there for Mech Mine. And Apple, he's just kind of flying around, but he's not really accomplishing much, you know what I mean? And I don't think there's really much that he can do. Maybe do some harass, some fort drops, bring some creeps over. But like, yeah, he's just kind of like running around killing, like, not even really killing anything other than creeps. So. Uh, could be like better use of his time, I think. Even like doing four chops or something. At least that's damage on the board. And uh, as long as he's keeping Mech Mine occupied, Mech Mine is probably not going to think about pushing. So probably a better use of Apple's time is to like, go and try and do some 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 cheesy stuffs. Maybe try try and snipe this T45. Try and do some four drops. Maybe a tank or two, or even just bring some creeps and do some four drops. But Mech Mine 
definitely. She look, I think he might be trying to disarm the mines with the the creeps. I'm not sure. Looks like he just kind of dropped them for damage. But yeah, creeps obviously not going to do too well versus all uh, these units. And this bottom isn't as defended as you think it is. It's pretty like like socketed creeps, gaddy, and a stinger. But oh, jokers, jokers. Looks like Mechmine will be massing jokers at, at the at his uh, fortress. And Apple definitely does not see this coming. So maybe the jokers are going to get the finish. Who knows? Or maybe Apple's going to make a crazy comeback. I would not be surprised. On salts, usually pay, uh, players get impatient. And they'll just decide, okay, what the heck, I'm just going to push. He doesn't even look like he has that many units, right? But defender's advantage is definitely a thing in air mech. And uh, you need, I'd say you need at least like three times the amount of units to overcome a defender's advantage. And mech mind, maybe he has like a two to one, maybe at best, upkeep uh, upkeep lead versus the defending units over here, as well as the heavy mines, which are getting a major value. So uh, I don't think mech mind can push in this situation unless he pushes through here or maybe like into here or through here. Or unless he just like slowly faring over and tries to do like an artillery style war, but uh, yeah, Mechmind uh, he has the upper hand right now. But Apple has pretty much made this into a stalemate. Mechmind should have definitely pushed or been more aggressive earlier when he had a decisive uh, upkeep advantage and he did try to push. But the heavy mines kind of even out that upkeep advantage for Mechmind. And Mechmind is now upkeep cap, so he's probably thinking now, like, what can I do? What am I gonna do? Right? And he's just kind of placing creeps in the middle. And this is your classic, classic, classic salt stalemate. There's a fight for mid, and then whoever gets mid just kind of sits here and waits, and then the other person builds up defense, and then neither player is really considering pushing or doing anything. But it looks like Mechmine is moving his units out, and he did clear everything in mid, like I said before. <coughs> so it might be interesting to see him bring all of his units over here and push through middle. That would be something cool to see. And I think that might be exactly what he's trying, but Apple is repositioning his units over here as well. So this might not work out great for Mechamind. He's faring over a T99, going to try and get them neutralized, which is exactly what you should be doing in any push. You want to go for the neutralized first because then your opponent can't pull out units from uh, from their outpost. But yeah, some heavy mines going off, and it looks like a few of the green tanks getting killed. But oh, Apple's reinforcements are here, and a lot of losses for green team. This is still anybody's fight, I would say. That mech mine still has the upper hand for now, but Apple's dropping and landing with the stasis and shooting with his mech and the blade guardians, and I think he's getting a lot killed. And I don't think mech mine has enough here to actually overwhelm Apple's forces. Uh, maybe if he starts abducting, but Apple has two Goliaths here as well. You got to remember that. And uh, most of mech mine's units are dead, and they're also getting clumped up a lot. And Apple just has to land and do one blade, and he'll probably bring all these units down to like basically no health. Trying to kill the creeps is going to kill all the creeps before they go in. Actually, one creep does go in. But there's still a few units left here for Mechmind. But it looks like Apple's pretty much successfully defended this push. But Mechmind still has control in middle. And this is neutral for now. It's not over. But I think Mechmind is not going to be able to capture this outpost successfully. Apple with the defense pulling it off. It's going to be okay. Upkeep is now 38 to 27. So Apple is definitely significantly in the lead. But there's only there's two Goliaths. One of them smoking, right? Maybe the Goliath isn't smoking. I think the Gemini in front are smoking. But there's two Goliaths and three Gemini. And I think Mechmind can easily defend versus two Goliaths and three Gemini. Just from the credits he had stockpiled, the random units he abducted. I think he's going to be fine. So I don't think Apple can convert this into any map gain yet. But he did pull off the defense. But now, as you can see, upkeep basically even again. 35 to 30. So Mechmind has the extra outpost, so he has more credit income, so he's going to be able to build more units faster. And Mechmind really low on health, careful, he needs to be careful there. There is a few flackers over there I don't think he saw. One of them is super smoking black, so he could just land and snipe it probably. But Apple is just going to pick it up and probably heal it. I don't know. He just kind of left it there. And yeah, this outpost pretty much undefended as well. Still, there's just one Tesla tower, so you could do some drops maybe back here. Maybe try and cheese this outpost. <coughs> Looks like Apple gonna be moving up with the Goliath, and the Goliath's actually gonna kill something over there. I didn't see it. I think it was just a Longhorn or something, or a Gemini. Yeah, it looks like that Goliath might get killed on this Ratchet. No, Mechline gonna pick it up, and it's gonna be a okay. Actually, a Gorgon even coming out, so Apple gonna have a hard time landing and doing the stays. There's three Gorgons. I cannot even see. Wow, what the heck? Three Gorgons. So Apple literally cannot land in this clump without dying, probably instantly. Just getting killed in like two seconds. So needs to be careful but apple definitely i would say has more ground unit presence well mechmind most of his stuff is in like stationary healing units and uh and aa 
just a few Gemini coming out for Mechmind. So Apple's army definitely would win in a head-to-head -head fight unless Mechmind adds, starts to add in some more ground units. And even if he's landing with the blade and stuff, killing the Gemini specifically, so the Gemini can't do damage to the Goliaths, while the Goliath can kill pretty much everything else here without them shooting back. So Apple with a nuke, ooh, missile silo coming out, and that's the thing that's going to break the stalemate on a map like Salt. Missile silo is definitely what's going to cause players to move, so Apple starts dropping some missile markers over here. All these units will die unless MacMind moves them out, and that might be the opportunity, the, the moment that Apple needs in order to break this stalemate. And MacMind, he is not, he is not seeing the marker, bro. He is not seeing, Beacon is going off. I don't know if he, I don't know if he can tell. He can't tell. He's just, he's just trying for the cheese here. He might get the cheese off, but all of his units over here. Oh, okay. Let's watch. This is not going to be good. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, another, and a Gorgon even going down. This one did get healed up, but he did manage to save a few units. I don't think he's out of it, <coughs> but Apple just stacking his glides over here. He, he didn't push in. He should have pushed in right when the nuke was going off so he could get, and if he got the neutral on this, he probably would have been able to take it. But there's a, there's a lot of infantry here. I think this is Apple's outpost now. The nuke really turning tide over there, killing so many units. Wow, I should have seen the upkeep, but the upkeep... He definitely had like 40 plus upkeep and went to like 15 in like 2 seconds. Wow, nuke nuke really powerful. Great for breaking stalemates. That's good. Uh, I don't see a lot of people bringing in 1v1. It's more of a team, team sort of a unit that I see in team play a lot. But uh, Apple finally taking back mid, so he has the advantage now in this fight. More credit income, more uh, upkeep. And Mechmind, he had mid, but he didn't really do anything much with it other than one failed push into heavy mines. So, uh, needs probably needs to be thinking of what he can do now. He did manage to save two. Oh, he is a Devastator out in the field. And the Devastator is devastating, and he actually did manage to neutralize this. And he probably will be able to keep this neutral. I don't know why he didn't kill the creeps there. Killing the creeps there would have been the perfect thing to do. Now Apple is just going to be able to take that outpost back again. But he is pushing with a Devastator, two Gorgons, and three Gemini. So that's a pretty devastating push. And oh my god, Apple is pushing out as well though. And in this situation, Apple wins. I'm pretty sure in this situation, Apple wins. Because he has uh, three Goliaths. They're heading for the fort. Oh, the Jokers. I forgot about the Jokers. Wait, 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 wait. But they're just getting killed. They're instantly getting killed. And Apple has stasis as well. So he's going to be fine. Apple, this is an all-in from Apple. If he loses these units, he probably loses the game. But the thing is, these units have so far to travel. They have so far to travel. But Mechmind has just tossed away all of his Jokers. Joker is super, super squishy. Obviously not really good unless you have, like, an Osprey supporting it or something. Uh, you Normally you see, like, Jackals or Gangsters or something if you're going for that kind of play, especially this late in the game. But Jokers really fall off versus Goliaths and Geminis and such. And, oh, Mechmind bringing his Devastator back, though. And he's going to try for this defense. Apple did get the cheese off, but I don't know how long he can hold this. He only has a few units. A lot of them are low health. And uh, just a few, few glides, even. And it looks like, oh, Apple is pushing. He's pushing for the fort, but I don't think... I don't think this will finish off the fort. I think Mechmind will get the defense off, especially with a Devastator over here. Devastator is going to kill these units very, very quickly. And he's just pushing these Gorgons in. These Gorgons obviously not going to do much. Mechmind needs to get the neutralize on this outpost for sure. If he doesn't get the neutral on the outpost, then Apple can just keep pulling out Goliaths or whatever else he has in Q. It looks like he just has Butchers in Q for now. Oh, but he set these on C. Oh, in this situation where you know that your units are going to be killed eventually, uh, the best thing to do is just go all in on the fort health, trying to get as much fort damage as you can. This is definitely a mistake, I would say, from Apple. But I think he's confident that he's going to be able to win. And, well, the Devastator went down, but Apple went down as well. So this is not looking good. Mechmind probably going to be able to abduct all, uh, at least one of these glides, if not two. Definitely one. But his fort health is taking a beating for it. And I think if Apple just had his uh, his units attacking before, then I would say he probably would have got Mechmind down to maybe like here, like 5%, 10% fort health. Mechmind did place a Gemini over here to neutralize this before. This is still somehow under red control. I don't know why Mechmind didn't go for the neutralize while Apple is pushing everything in. But looks like he is going to be pushing out now. But Apple has a lot of infantry and stuff holding. Infantry is super, super good actually versus uh, glides and stuff like that, especially late game units. You kind of have this like triangle of death where it's like mid tier units kind of, kind of, kind of 
mid-tier units will kill light units, but light units will kill like endgame units, and endgame units will kill mid-tier units. That's kind of like the triangle of how stuff works in air mech. So light infantry, infantry and light units, super effective versus Goliaths, and you hate to see it, but uh, a few a few butchers will actually pretty much shred a Goliath. So you need to be careful with how you are positioning your units and what kind of unit composition you're going with. You might think, oh, I have a bigger tank, it's obviously going to kill everything, and that is not necessarily true all of the time. So uh, light units, infantry, great counter to endgame units, great counter to endgame units. Great in every fight, honestly. I think people kind of undervalue the usefulness of infantry, and especially like creeps and stuff late game. So uh, creeps will turn fights, honestly, because uh, creeps, not only do they do damage, but they also distract, and distraction negates a lot of uh, a lot of the enemy units just uh, damage as well. So distract is huge in fights, and mech mech distract as well is super, super huge in fights. If you're not employing all of those in uh, in your fights, then uh, you're pretty much putting yourself as a di at a disadvantage. And Apple's going with some, some level 4 creeps on the corners here. Not even on the corners. It looks like two of them are on the corners and two of them are not. And the the little, like, extra extra time you take to, like, just put the creeps on the corners means all so much more damage. Look, it's literally, like, double the damage that he would have done in this drop if he just took the, the creeps and just put them all on the corners instead. But, uh, yeah, so there's only like a one one more second of extra time to position them just right, not even. So always, uh, when you're dropping, try to drop on the corners. Try to drop on the corners, especially if you're dropping stuff like creeps or light units or stuff with like low armor piercing. They're not going to do damage at all to the fort sides. Well, they will do damage, but not enough. And you'll get a lot more value just by taking the one or two seconds and you need to like reposition them. And Apple actually dropping a nuke on his own units, and wow, <laughs> the nuke that he dropped on his own outpost, right, will actually end up finishing off most of this green push, but Mechmind is just content to just sit here and abduct, and Apple's actually going to get killed, and Mechmind probably going to abduct this Goliath, probably going to abduct these Gemini, actually, and will end up capturing mid, and he got this outpost, too, how do you even get this outpost? I think his creeps just walked by and managed to take this outpost, because all the units in middle are dead, so his creeps are just free to walk over here. But yeah, Mechmind pretty much just going to cap this outpost for free using the creep ability. And Apple's probably kicking himself in the head. If he didn't die right there, he probably would have had mid under control. So dying, don't die in 1v1s. Don't die in 1v1s. But Apple going for the 4 drops. He's going for more 4 drops. And 4... Oh, they're mispositioned. You see how they're mispositioned? Look at how much more damage you would have gotten. And I think this is going to come down to the wire. But, uh... Apple's just going to keep doing 4 drops and Mechmind not really with any 4th defense, but if he if he positioned them right on the corner, they would have done twice the amount of damage that they just did. Literally twice the amount of damage. But, uh, yeah. It, all it takes is one, one extra second. One extra second to reposition your units, and it means all that much more. Especially when you're in a close game like this, where 4th damage means everything. But, uh, Mechmind definitely with the the unit advantage and the field presence and he's definitely going to push out here but apple's just going to keep going for these drops and mechmind needs to focus on defense i would say but he's going all in on the offense and he's on the other side of the map right now while apple is dropping at the fort and there we go four creeps on the corner one of them did manage to get killed by this creep week creep wave so three more creeps on the corner it's going to start ticking the damage and oh this is really close this is really close but mechmind is here to defend and apple's just doing as much damage to the fort himself as he can and uh, honestly just stay here and just shoot at the fort with your own mech, you might you might even be able to get the finish with your mech at this point just by shooting at the corners with the Neo. But uh, Mech Mine is pushing in. I think he's got a, he's got a all in right now. He's got a send. He's got a Y. He's got a Y completely to the four, and that's exactly what he's doing. And he sees Apple. No, he doesn't. Apple's cloaked. He's going back to defend right now. But oh, his fort held so low, and he, I don't think he has lunchbox. He definitely doesn't have a lunchbox. And oh, he's defending. He's defending. But Apple's Apple. He's waiting for him to go away. He's waiting. Okay, this is a smart move. He's waiting for him to go away, but I think Mechmind is he knows he's gonna win if he just stays here and defends as much as he can. So Apple needs to go for it. He needs to go for it right now before he brings even more infantry. And looks like he did get scouted out. He did get scouted out. Four infantry on the corner. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, just shoot with your mech. Just shoot with your mech at the corner. Just shoot with your mech. Oh, it's so low. It's so low, it's so low. No way he got killed. No way. <laughs> That's it. That's game. That's game. There's no way. Look at his fort health. It's non existent. There's nothing there. It's probably it's probably like 0.1 or 0 0.01 and wow, Mechmind pushing to the fort and Apple. Oh, this was hurt. This is literally there was no health. There was no health on the fort. None. There's literally zero health on the fort. Oh my you remember what I was saying before about putting the creeps on the corners? Literally if you put one more creep, one more creep on the corner, it would have done enough damage probably to finish the game there. Apple slightly mispositioning his units. 
when he was doing the drops earlier literally cost him the game and I, I was just ready because it was like a slight inefficiency but that actually would have won in the game if he just placed them a little bit better wow he must be kicking himself in the in the head bro oh my god what a game what a what a crazy comeback from mechamind well i don't even know if you call it a comeback because he had an advantage at the first then apple took the advantage then he lost the advantage and mechamind took the advantage that was really back and forth but mechamind ended up coming up on top uh managing to defend from apple's drops and managing to win the game with a with an all-in send at the end and what a great game well played to both players apple i'm really sorry man that's gotta hurt i would be really mad if i was in your position but yeah great game thanks for to wolf cub for uh submitting this replay hope you guys enjoyed this has been astro if you have any crazy games like this or any other games you just want to share please send it in the replay submission form in the description and yeah this has been astro peace see you guys later